Yo, what's good everyone? It's Wesley Paul with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to manage and organize and use your own samples and MPC beats and MPC software. So, as you open up the software, it will look something like this. And if you look right down in the bottom right hand corner, the second to last icon, you press there and it will bring this up here. And you've got one, two, three, four, five customizable folders right here so my first order i've got all of my african or afro beats afro dance or sample kits right here so if i need to access them i just press on that one folder and i can just load them up there two i've got another folder with all of my kits three one shots and so on and as i said these are fully customizable so what you can do with these folders um one quick tip is you might be making a beat you load up all your samples in here, you like the beat, you want to save it, you might want to use it again another time. So you'd go to file, once you've created it, you go to file, save current program, you save that into a file, and you'll save all of your own current programs, your customizable kit in a folder, and then you can save it to one of these folders here, and then you just press on it to load it back up. So how that will sort of look like is in this second folder, um, I do have a program. As you can see, I've got quite a few things in there. So if I just want to find the program, I just press on that program button and it just shows the folders and the program right here at the bottom. I double click on it, it loads up. And as you can see, there's the kit there, loaded up. Um, but with this folder, I don't need to keep this folder because this is just showing my um, expansions. So the expansions are already here, so I don't need them in one of my folders. So what I'm going to do is you press on this little arrow here, or little triangle, this one here, and then you locate the folder that you want to use. I'm going to go to sample packs, just choose anyone, just use this one for example. You hold down shift and then press on the folder that you want and then that's it so if i come off that press to that one folder is now saved and you could do that with any of them so you could have sample packs you could have one shots loops whatever you want in my fifth folder i've actually got all of my projects so i can load them up that way it's a lot easier for me and that is how um, you can use your own samples in folders within MPC Beats. Obviously, the other way you can load samples is you can just go to your folder here and click, drag and drop. But that's not really productive. Um, stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to show you how to make an expansion. And within that expansion, I'll show you how when you press on it, it will preview in MPC Beats. Take care. Thank you for watching.